I can't do prepared speeches, y'all. I'm better when I just wing it. So this is take eight. This is Karen from Waterfall Acrylics. How are y'all doing? Uh, before I tell you about today's paint pouring adventures, um, I did want to mention that the Fluid Art Experience website is now open, up and running. It's day four, I believe. So please come check us out for our workshop in Plano, Texas in November. Um, classes are filling up. I think I'm up to 34 already in my classes. So if you're interested, not just me, come check out definitely, you know, Massey Art Studio, Cause Creations, Mina Villegas Art, Sarah Mack Art. We're all going to be there. It's going to be a hell of a lot of fun. Yeah, see, I'm better off the cuff, definitely. Anyway, yeah, so check that out. And what you're about to see is basically a continuation from video number 356. You know the one where I was outside and my big fat head kept getting in the way. <laughs> I had decided to do a second painting after that one with the same colors, with the coppers, reds, and pinks, and uh, see if I could get something similar. So, uh, yeah, let me take you outside. Hey guys, it's Karen. So, back outside. I'm so taken with the color scheme. I want to go again. So I hope you don't mind back to back. Never, no two pores ever look the same, right? That's my reasoning. Um, and before I had to take all of this down and clean up, I'm, I'm going to get as many outdoor paintings in as I can. So this is another 18 by 24 um, cradled panel. It has uh, been treated with two coats. Actually, I think it's only one coat of uh, Kills Wood Primer. And let's do those colors again. Colors, Brands, Pouring Medium Recipe, discount codes, links to my social media, to my web shop, all that good stuff is in the description section. Just click on the uh, title of the video and it'll pop up. Sound like a broken record with that. Let's start with Let's start with the uh, Matisse Rose Matter. And we're just going to go right in the middle again. So do some of that. Fold it up with some, this little piggy. And the fairy floss. I think that's wrong. I think I'm saying that color wrong. It's... If I did, I'll correct it in the description section. I don't have the uh, container outside with me. And then let's do a little purple permanent violet dark by Golden. And another little piggy pigment. This is cinnamon. Can you tell I like it? I really, really like this color. <laughs> I'm going a little crazy with it. Let's go back to the... Let's put, let's put a little bit of the fairy floss on it. And then the rose matter. Oh, who am I kidding? I'm going to end up putting more purple and everything on there. Okay, there. I'll stop after this. After a little more copper, I'll stop. Pop a bubble or two. There we go. All right. I can't remember if it did white and black. I think I did black and white. So this is carbon black for Artist Law Professional Series mixed with my Australian flow trawl. And 
And then we'll do the titanium white. And blow this out. Cool air, but definitely high fan again. Okay, I'm pretty happy with that blowout, but definitely feel like I'm going to need more paint. Um, just like last time, this is the Sherwin Williams Captivate house paint. It is super thick, y'all. Like, super thick. I don't like it. I found for deconstructed blooms um, because it just takes forever to tilt, but for spinning, um, I really am really liking it because I just have more control. Uh, so we'll see how it goes again. I'm going to take my finger to that. I'm still waiting for my center, um, to collect a little bit. And let me take a finger, just make it slippery. Here. The cicadas are in full force tonight. They're the regular ones though. Just the regular summer cicadas. This is all going to fly off. Alright, looking good. You guys ready? Let's give her a spin, shall we? Woo! Where's my little paint stopper? My little stopper spinner thingy. Wow. See, that's because I got really happy with the uh, colors. <laughs> and I kept adding more and more. So not as much negative space as the last one. Still really pretty though. I'm definitely going to want to get... Let me turn it this way. I'm going to want to get this off. Maybe some of this black off a little bit. Um, my gosh, I just love this color combo. Let me see. It doesn't matter which direction you spin. It doesn't really do anything. 
I'll go the other way just to make some people happy, but it doesn't really make a difference. I'm telling you. I always get that comment. Like, what if you spin both ways? I'm like, it doesn't really do anything. Uh, maybe a little more here. Let me see. I left my sides bare too, so I need to let the let this sit here and let the paint run down everywhere and cover the wood. Um, normally, I tape the sides on something so deep, but this time I didn't. I'm getting a little bit of speckles. Um, there's very few bubbles in that paint, but. I am spinning and I am outside. I want to take this off just a little more. Yeah. I'm going to do a little harder of a spin. Oh, the, I, every time I say that, it's wimpy. Because my hand slipped. Hold on. I could, nothing's flying off, so I can tell that was wimpy. Do over. Come here, you. Would be too. All right. Which way am I going? Let's go this way. That was better. I'm trying to keep an eye on the one bottom corner since it's going in circles. Hmm. Yeah, definitely uh, not as much negative space, but still, I guess this is what I was trying to get off. Right there. Oh yeah, cheddar. Let me turn it this way. Super cool. I'm gonna take this inside, like the last one, because I am definitely gonna take a skewer to a couple little spots. So um, let me do that. Let me stare, make sure I don't want to spin anymore. I think I'm done. Maybe it goes this way. Let me turn it around for a second. Maybe it goes like that, this one. Loving the colors. Uh, and despite putting, I had a lot of uh, cinnamon, the copper color. Oh, there it is. I see, I'm like, where's the cinnamon? I'm just staring, but I think I'm good. Yep, let me move this guy inside and get cleaned up. Hey everybody, I'm back inside staring at this one i like it just as much as the other one um i got not a terrible amount but i did get some um white speckles in places like i see here that i'm just been standing here like dunking them back in making them disappear see there's like three right here like these guys i'm just taking my skewer and stabbing them. There's a big white one. Let me use the other end. Oh, I'm shaking. Got wiggle hands. Uh, stuff like that. No big deal. The only thing I wish I could do something about that I can't is, and this this is picky pants talking, is like you see this part right here, how it like curves in. When I get you down for a close up, the colors under here are gorgeous. I wish that would have fanned out this way <laughs> a little more, um, but that's super picky. I'm going to like drag the black through this white part and soften that up. And then the other thing that keeps catching my eye in not a good way is this spot right here um, with the white. That's the white and black cell activator. I'm just going to kind of like move it back a little bit so it 
you could tell it was like, oh, I got a spin off, I got a spin off. And I'm like, so I'm just going to make it look like, nope, I wasn't spun out. It just happened this way. So that's better already. Um, yeah, I don't really think there's anything else I need to dork around with. Maybe like here, see, like right here, how it looks like. Um, to you guys, like an, I don't know if you can see, it looks like an upside down tulip. Maybe I'll leave it because it's tulip shaped. But the parts where it started to make like the umbrella shape cells, like I never liked that look. I want my cells to look like they're not flying off the canvas. Anyway, let me get you down for a close up. You'll be able to see what I'm talking about better. And then uh, let me know what you think. Hold on one sec. Okay, so this is, we'll call this the bottom of the canvas for now. I'm not real sure. Uh, of the orientation yet but I just wanted to come in on some of the parts like this right here with the gold and the pink and I just love that whole area right there the middle is great really blending really pretty blending of the colors and I like this part over here very very much how you can see the colors underneath so so cool that's super super pretty and then as we move up like you got the pink with the rose matter and the purples and then I love that little bit of um, white lacing on the black and then up here I, I love that I just do I love it so so much there's the little white spot I was pointing at that I'm gonna fix in a minute and then um, nice quiet areas and then that's super pretty coming off and I don't know if it'll show up but there's like lacing in that black section right there that's kind of cool and then let me come and turn it yeah there it is pretty dang happy with that one and the last one um I think when I show the dry results of this guy, I'll drag out the other one as well. And we'll put them side by side as the comparison so we can look at both of them. So yeah, stay tuned for the dry results. Okay guys, I'm back with the dry results of this one. Parts of it dried a tiny bit darker than I would have liked. Um, I, I like the purple up here though, but this part here, um, cause you can barely see the lacing. It's there like when you're up close in front of it, but from a distance, you really can't tell. Uh, it's the same colors as this guy here. They're really not meant to go together. Um, they just have the same colors. So at first I thought, oh no, this one's way, way better. Um, because it has symmetry and everything to it. Uh, but there's something wild about this one, like wild in a good way that I actually really like. Um, it just goes to show that you can break rules in fluid art and uh, get a piece that's really interesting to look at. I'm going to flip it to see if it can go the other way. See if I can do it without knocking over everything. Bear with me a second. Stay there. Stay. Okay. Like, yeah, see, I think it can go like that as well. So either orientation um, works for me. This one here is sold. The client has asked for a high gloss varnish instead of resin. So that's what I'm going to do and then put it in a floater frame. This guy here is definitely getting resin since it's on wood and uh, framed as well and will be available for sale. If you're interested, shoot me an email at waterfallacrylics at gmail.com. And uh, yeah, let me know what you think in the comments. Uh, I'm not gonna flip around. You guys know what I look like. Um, so please like, share, and subscribe. You know the drill, help a gal out. Um, <laughs> I guess that's it for me today. Y'all take care and uh, be a fountain, not a drain. Peace out, y'all. Bye.